Hoisting up the Tormach. Got a long way to go with it. Mill is up, which is awesome. We came at it from this way. Um, the limitations of the legs and the wall meant that we couldn't get the mill perfectly on the caster. So what we've done is we took the crane off and then came at it from the front. We've now got this off center, which is very dangerous. It's slack right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten, uh, lift up the crane as little as we possibly can almost to just kind of help take some of the weight off the mill, but not actually lift it. And then we're going to use that with a crowbar or our hand strength to align the mill, and then we should be good. All right, we've got the mill up and bolted on the stand. Uh, we already took the crane away, but what I just mentioned worked. We basically just used the crane with just enough tension to take um, the weight of the mill off the stand a little, pushed it around a little. Got all four bolts threaded in, but here's a huge tip that I really uh, can't believe I didn't think to do, which is uh, chase each one of these threads on the stand before you put the mill on top of it, meaning um, you're not going to, especially when you've got a ceiling height limit or you've got to use a, an engine crane, you're not going to drop the mill on top um, of the pegs, you're just going to drop it on the feet and then align it and drop the pegs through but they're tough to thread in if they're not a clean thread. So chase them first and you'll save yourself a lot of uh, hassle. That's it for tonight. Tomorrow morning we're going to um, drop down the cribbage and get this thing on the ground and move from there. Thanks. Good morning. So we uh, made good progress so far. We had the mill cribbed up um, on a 4x4 plus a 2x4 and we used a floor jack to slowly crib it down going one two by four at a time worked fine went ahead and leveled the feet i'm not sure i'm happy with how that's done i need to do some more thinking about that so stay tuned in the future for some update there and now what we're doing is uh, they had a bunch of these washers included in the um in the box and these are sort of the neoprene or rubber type and i'm sure these are what go in between these uh, chip trays and the stand. So uh, we actually already put the chip trays on here just to make sure they fit. And sure enough, one of them needed just a hair bending. Um, so now what we're ready to do is I've got some uh, GE premium waterproof silicone, uh, silicone two white kitchen bath plumbing, uh, which I'm going to do the double bead around the left half. And then we'll put that chip tray on and put some screws in and get that tightened up and then we'll be back. Thanks. Hi folks, we've got the side panels up. Um, like always, once you do something, you have a better way to do it. And here's our advice. First of all, we had mounted these without silicone first to see how the holes were lined up. That was really smart, which is great because we did notice that a couple of them needed pushed around a little, nothing Nothing bad, just needed a little torquing. Um, and then we put the silicone on and got them on, you know, basically just fine. Here's our advice though. If you have a pallet jack, do this in the middle of a room and then move the whole mill like it currently is where you want it. We still would like to move ours a little bit, which I think we'll need a pallet jack for, but um, we had it more than eight inches away from the wall and it's still um, a bit difficult to get back here uh, you end up getting silicone on you and hard to get some of the screws in there. But got that done. Power cables are ready to go. Uh, I need to take a quick look at the manual and instructions, but I think the next step is just to put the computer in and start hooking up cables. We're not going to do the coolant pump just right now. I'm going to use my uh, Trico uh, Mister, but um, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> 